Welcome back. It's not just us that's seeing quiet weather and uh, unseasonably warm temperatures. Much of the lower 48 is seeing those same weather conditions, thanks in part due to this jet stream pattern that brings moisture into the Pacific Northwest and Western Canada. So that allows for warmth to come up into the northern part of the United States and the storm track to be into northern Canada. So we're seeing some of these high level clouds just spill down throughout part parts of Canada and some of them make it into our region, but we just have a sun-filled sky today and abundant sunshine is expected for tomorrow and with this jet stream pattern remember the jet stream steers our weather systems and dictates our temperature pattern across the country across the globe with this jet stream pattern we just don't see any arctic outbreaks on the horizon with this mild pattern continuing big ridge of high pressure across the western u.s so nice weather continues into this upcoming weekend and even next week we'll be in the 30s and some days in the low 40s tonight look for overnight lows in the low to middle 20s. We'll have a mostly clear sky. Great conditions for seeing the Geminid meteor shower which, which peaks tonight. So get away from city lights and look up for some meteors, especially between 9 p.m. and 2 a.m. Tomorrow we'll see temperatures even warmer than today in some spots. 41 is the forecast high tomorrow in Minot. So we'll have those clear skies tonight. Great viewing opportunity for the Geminid meteor shower in the eastern sky initially and then overhead later on tonight. Mostly sunny sky throughout the day tomorrow. Not expected much if any cloud cover with those high temperatures above normal. Friday, a little bit of a setback with temperatures closer to freezing. And yes, notice a couple of snow icons here. Don't get worried though, a system is going to be down to our southeast. So we're on the back side of this. And this is a little bit uncertain if this develops with this uh, trough kind of coming on the back side of the area of low pressure back into our area. So areas to the east of Minot would have the best potential on getting a few snowflakes later in the day on Friday. But there certainly will be more clouds on Friday than what we'll have for your Thursday tomorrow. Look for mostly cloudy skies late in the day, maybe more so towards Friday night is when we could see that band of snow develop uh, south and east of Minot, especially more so towards southeastern North Dakota, Jamestown, and Fargo could pick up a little bit of accumulating snow, maybe up towards the Canadian border as well with a little bit of that snow potential for Friday night. But we do clear out for the weekend and certainly it won't be impactful for our plans on Friday with that system again to the southeast. Holiday train comes through Saturday throughout the day from Carrington to Harvey, then to Minot and Kenmare with temperatures in the 30s and mostly clear skies and above normal temperatures high confidence in that continuing as we approach the christmas holiday so here is how it looks over the next seven days we'll have temperatures in the low 40s for your thursday friday back into the low 30s with a mostly cloudy sky that isolated evening to overnight snow shower and then nice conditions calm weather conditions continue through next week joe all right thank you so much for that jacob vincent